What's up, Metalheads? Welcome back to Third Party Throwdown, and today we're going to be looking at the Dayban 8815 Full Armor Mark II Gundam. Now, this is kind of a continuation of an earlier video where we looked at the Dayban Mark II Super Gundam. This is their full armor set, and we're going to see how it compares to not only that, uh, but also some of the Bandai kits. Now, Bandai did not make a kit of the full armor Gundam in the Master Grade scale, or full armor Mark II Gundam. Uh, they did release a Robot Damashi's full armor Gundam, but you know we don't have an actual kit to fully compare this to. We're gonna start off by uh, taking a look at the kit, and this kit was provided to me by Gundam Kingdom. Thank you guys for sending this to me so I can take a look and give my unbiased opinion about it. But let's go ahead and dive in. So when it comes to the day band kit, one of the uh, issues I had with the original Mark II was the hips coming apart. Uh, I didn't like the head and really the articulation itself was very low. Now, on this one, I'm going to say kind of the same. Uh, I don't have as many issues with the hips. Uh, I still have issues with the articulation in the arms. But the reason you're not having the same issues with the hips is you have all this stuff holding it together. However, because of that, it's going to limit the posability of this kit. So that's going to be a big uh, down point on this kit is that it's really kind of a sit in and forget it kind of kit. And I'll show you what I mean when we, when we break everything down. Um, but with that out of the way, the negative out of the way, I want to talk about some positives here. This thing is just amazingly detailed. Um, with, with even the articulation flaws, having this on, in your collection is going, it's going to stand out on a shelf because you don't get, uh, a lot of kits that really have, uh, the full armor feel to it anymore. It's not as common to, to have full armors um in 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 Gundam stories anymore. So this thing is actually very very cool. Get several several accessories that come with it. It does come with the stand. This is based off of what you would got in the Mark II 2.0. Same thing as you would get with the Dayban as well. Get the backpack with additional parts. We still have the snake skin tubing, but I did come up with a couple of solutions for that snake skin tubing that helped out quite a bit. Not that much, uh, but it's still quite a bit. You're also getting a right, uh, kind of this like arm cannon thing, which looks really cool. A new shield. We'll talk about that in a bit. The bazooka, beam rifle, extra bazooka ammo, and the really awesome Mark II shield. What you're getting in the box is you are getting the Dayban Mark II fully in the box. All the parts to make the original Dayban Mark II are in there minus those for the, the G Defensor. So you can, if you want, make the original Mark II out of this. I would say get the G-Defensor if you're going to do that one because all the same problems exist and you can have the Super Gundam. This one, you're going to want to do it as the full armor. I, I, I can't see why you wouldn't want to if you're picking up this kit. You're going to want to have this armor on here because it just gives a whole new layer of detail and grandiose awesomeness to this kit. So we're gonna start off, uh, the head is exactly the same 
as you would have got in the original. I did glue on the V fin because it just it doesn't hold on very well. It does come with the head Vulcan, and this time the head Vulcan is actually in the instructions. I'm still not a big fan of the head Vulcan. It looks more like a sensor to me, but it is pretty cool. Now one downside here, like I said, this is a sit in and forget it kind of kit. Because the head Vulcan being right next to the shoulders, you cannot move the head. So if you take off the head Vulcan, you do regain that poseability. So there is a little bit of a give and take there. Moving on to the arms, you have these little movable, I guess, wings, fins, however you want to call them. They're really well designed, uh, lots of detail in there. They do kind of pop off pretty easy. Uh, you may want to glue that on there, but for me, that wasn't as big a deal. I'm going to go ahead and move the base because there's not much to it. The same issues with posability in the arms exist. You're not going to get very much articulation there, uh, but you can get quite a bit moving it up and, and things like that. There are some hidden gimmicks in here. If you open that up, there is a little gun right there, which is really cool. I love hidden weapons. And, and on the other side, it doesn't have an opening gimmick, but a, it has a little peg so that you can attach the little arm cannon, which looks really cool. There, were, I like that this part kind of opens up as well. Oopsie. There, I was trying to hold it funky. So this part also opens up, kind of gives it a cool little shielded vibe. I think this would be a really cool thing to have some LEDs in. So another cool aspect of the full armor, while you do get the Mark II shield, but this one you can't actually use while in full armor mode. The same issues apply to this one. It, it, looks awesome uh the transformation part of it is a little bit iffy so um but you do get another one uh which is this big old long boy right here and it can peg into either side either side of the body there's a peg here as well that you can use and if you want one, uh, you can actually take the gun, the, the beam rifle, fold it up, pop off the magazine, and it has a connection point right there. And can actually be stored here in the shield. Uh, one thing they did fix on this uh, compared to the original shield is that you can actually store extra clips on this shield whereas with the original doesn't matter what way you put it on it just doesn't gonna happen they didn't fix that in the re-release and I do like this shield I think it very much fits the idea of a full armor Gundam uh, it's not too wacky, to be honest. It, it makes sense for the kit. The bazooka here uh, also isn't really made for this kit. Uh, so I, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way so we can just break down. The extra armor here makes it just impossible for, for this to be stored. So, But it is nice to have. It's always nice to have. So we're gonna go ahead and pop off the arms here. So we're done taking a look at those. And we're gonna take a look at the main body. So I have seen some people say they've had fitting issues, especially with this part right here. 
I have not had that issue. Um, I did not have any fitting issues with getting the armor on the front here. And honestly, I think this part really just stands out and looks so gorgeous. You know, it, it really is a, a, a great, you know, fit. They, they, they took some time to make sure that this, this would fit onto the kit. Uh, especially without having something that they could directly like reference. So uh, this does hamper the opening cockpit gimmick. Get just the bottom part open of the cockpit. So you still can access the cockpit, but it doesn't have that full like opening where the top of the chest comes up as well. But I think this just part just looks so fantastic. The detailing on here, even without panel lining, which I, I did go ahead and panel line this kit, really is just all, all sorts of, of fantastic. The backpack, it's a standard backpack, it's got some extra stuff on it, not much to, to talk about. I did have a very bad fitting issue right here that I wasn't able to resolve. I wanted to kind of present this as it is. I wasn't able to resolve that, so that did kind of bug me uh, a bit. Also, uh, you do get some beam sabers that, that come with this, but no, no actual beams. Uh, that came with it so you you'll have to you know borrow some now moving on to the waist so in my first review it was a bit of an issue with the waist because it just kept falling apart but the additional armor really kind of keeps everything in place there's not a lot of issues with the waist at all I think it looks very good it, it definitely reminds me of the alex it does have some extra thrusters that use some plastic piping kind of like you would have seen on the mg hyzac i'm glad they did the plastic piping instead of the snake skin uh, I'm, I'm very glad they they decided to go ahead and go the extra mile and do the plastic here once again the detailing is absolutely fantastic uh, there are some color correcting stickers. So we have sticker here and we have actual color uh, uh, colored pieces right there. So colored plastic. The articulation down here is just not great. Uh, and same thing issues with the ball joint in the leg. There is there's an, a static ball joint. Uh, in there which gives you very little articulation as it is but also the boosters here also limit how much you can move not by much though uh, most of this is going to be limited by the extra armor now with this part right here on the legs um, there was one area in particular actually two areas I decided to go ahead and just glue once again fantastic looking I went ahead and glued this part right here this kind of tannish part uh, because in the mark II, you have a little piece that fits in there to help hold everything down but because that's not there it's not gonna stay in place unless the boosters are there so I went ahead and just glued it down just because I didn't want to lose it another piece I glued down was this this section of armor that pegs in down here. I don't know if you can see that. It just kept falling off. Uh, it was it was becoming a bit of a headache, so I just went ahead and glued that back in. Uh, glued that in. Now, while we don't get a lot of of articulation because of the armor, uh, it is got some part separation there now if you pull it too far you're gonna pop that off because that was originally meant to be a much smaller piece which you could replace it if you if you want but it is going to pop that part off if you move too far back so once again this is kind of a this kit 
really you're going to want to put it in the base and it's just going to be there. Uh, other than that, there weren't any major fitting issues. In fact, I feel kind of like this went together a bit easier than the original. Uh, I don't know if that's just because I had expect, uh, you know, experience with it, but it did seem to go together pretty nice and neat. I didn't have any real issues. Um, it does have the snake skin, and, and one thing I figured out with the snake skin was I took it and I rolled it in my hands uh, for quite some time and it seemed to ease it up and kind of wear it down a bit so it wasn't as rigid. All in all though, the legs are, are real nice. You know, you do have this part that's gonna pop off whenever you move it. Now, this brings me to the feet. Now, the feet, believe it or not, this part is not in the manual. I'm gonna throw up some video in the corner that's gonna show you how to put this together. But the feet are in the manual. You, you, do, you do get, let me rephrase that. So the regular feet for the Mark II are in the manual and you're going to need to build those. However, it's got these little bootsies little coverings, little extra armor on the feet that aren't in the manual. And it's a very simple process to put them on there. Just to, uh, it's gonna be on, I believe, the W runner. And so they're not in the manual and they just kind of fit on top of the other feet. So now on to the final score. So this is a bit of an improvement over the original Dayband Mark II. Uh, great appearance, good ease of build, very few fitting issues. However, I did knock it a bit for the build quality because of the fact that the articulation is so bad on this kit. Um, but that's kind of par for the course for anything full armor. It really doesn't negate the fact that it's a beautiful looking kit and will be a great addition to your collection. And with a final score of 80, that brings this review to a close. So make sure to check out the sponsor of today's video, Gundam Kingdom, to get a hold of your own full armor Gundam Mark II.